Alrighty guys, hey, welcome back to another episode of WGR Garage. We're working on the tracker today. The bumper's not mounted, it's actually just uh, bungee corded on. <laughs> but we got the GoPro 10 rocking. Uh, I'm gonna give it a test run today. And um, I'm gonna try to get this axle all prepped and thrown under the tracker. So that's the goal. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the axle. So you need to get in here and cut all these brackets out of the way, shock mount, leaf springs, whatever that is. This leaf spring mount, this leaf spring mount. I don't know why there's two leaf spring mounts. Anyways, cut all this stuff out of there. So that's what's up. Right, guys i just dragged it into the shop it started raining on me too much so just uh need to grind all these nice and pretty and then uh we start playing around with lining it up so that's uh that's what i'm doing Little promotional ad guys, WGR magnetic koozies, let me know if you need one. guys what's really up next is to set this thing back on its tires I got it pretty much prepped um, at least enough to weld some tabs to it I haven't cleaned anything because it's like super gross um, I'll probably get it all mounted or tack welded in there solid weld it roll the thing out pressure wash it and really clean it up uh, later on but right now I just want to get this thing sitting on its weight uh, and in place so next thing really just to do is to lift this thing back up put the tires on and slide it in there and start making some measurements on where exactly I want this uh, front axle to, to land. So that is what is up next. <clears throat> Alrighty guys, this is the first. What you wanna see coming out of your axle that the guy said it was good shape is straight up water just draining out of it. <laughs> <laughs>
guys, one of the things I want on here first before I uh, put this axle on place is the front grill uh, and the fenders. So I just kind of grasp an idea, allows me to grasp an idea of how far this tire can come up and articulate. So if I move it so far forward, well, I'm getting into my headlight. So I either don't use headlights or I make this work with it all together. So. Anyways, one of the things I have to do is I move this AC line up uh, to clear a winch. A winch will eventually go in here, and I'll cut these bars out. But the drill doesn't want to sit back anymore. It doesn't want to sit all the way on there. So I'm going to make room real quick for the, uh, basically for that line to clear this front plastic part. So I'm just going to mark it. We'll cut it and uh, see if it works. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I got the axle in place with where I want it to sit when this thing's all done. Um, one thing I was looking at is the air shocks and there is not much room to mount those things. So um, I got it over, pretty much as far over as I can get to where the knuckle can still turn. I still have to add tabs obviously. So I'll toss some uh, tabs in there real quick. Um, on the bottom half and just to see if I can steer left and right and not hit the shock uh, and then up top pretty much just have a little clamp holding uh, the shock kind of in place um, with where I want it to sit and I think if all if we're lucky that clearance right there will be enough and then as the tire as as that side goes down and this side comes up, I don't believe this tire will hit the shock. So you won't really tell until you get it uh, installed and kind of flex it around a little bit. So I might put it all in there and then take the engine hoist and lift this axle up and see if it hits. And then the same thing, go to the other side, uh, install it and make sure it doesn't hit on the other side. So, but I think it will work right there. Uh, it just might be a um, a joy, <laughs> a joy to get it all set up without anything hitting. So, anyways, that is. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I might tack weld the shock hoop in um, to get the top top uh, bolt in, and then get to get my plasma table out to um, make some tabs for the bottom. So, anyways, I believe that's what I'm gonna do next um, before I do the links. So. That's what's up.
Okay, it's a new day out here and we got an awesome head start on that four link yesterday. So what's left or where I left off with yesterday was that I got that uh, chassis side lower tabs, just tack walled it in. Now I need the tabs on the axle side to be uh, cut out on the CNC and then tack welded in place so we can start measuring for our links. Um, that is what's next. Um, that's what I need to work on. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, that's where I'm going to call it quits tonight. I got the lower links uh, tacked together, sitting, just sitting in there right now. Uh, shock hoop tacked in, lower shock tabs on this side are tacked in, I don't have shock tabs on the other side yet. But uh, yeah, I think it's turning out pretty good, I'm really excited for it. Tomorrow we'll be working on some upper, let's see if I can, some upper tabs, um, link tabs. And a uh, cool thing about the Toyota axle is that the whole housing is weldable. So you can just, you know, you could put two tabs up here on the pumpkin if you wanted and then just build a tower on the other side and, uh, and then be done. So it's probably what I'm going to do. We will see uh, what I come up with. So anyways, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so it's been a couple of tomorrows, but I'm ready to get working on this thing once again. So um, today I'm going to be trying to do those upper tabs. Um, that's the big goal of today is get those upper tabs in and then I can actually put it on its own weight. I'll put some nitrogen in the shocks and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Um, on another note, so here's my new tracker part I'm pretty excited about. It's the Stegadon and it's the best never rest made in China. Pretty excited about it, so let's uh, pop this bad boy open. It's a really nice looking winch though. I like that these are aluminum, solid piece of aluminum. It's already got the rope on there wireless remotes it's pretty sweet all right this is what I kind of came up with so instead of doing just your traditional like flat uh, style uh, truss I kind of like the tube look uh, on there and I've never done it before so I'm gonna give it a shot this is the 188 wall tubing that I just did on my rock wall buggy so we will uh, bend this here downwards probably at a 45 and then uh, 
I'll mount my upper tabs to there because there's nothing up in here. You can't see it, but there's nothing up in there. Um, that should be good there. And then the same thing on the other side. I'll mount my tabs to this pumpkin. So I'm gonna give this a try. At least, at least look what it, check out what it looks like, and then uh, go from there. So that's what I'm gonna do. So alrighty guys, that is going to be a wrap on today's video. Uh, we got that uh, truss already done and uh, kind of underway and a bunch of other uh, good progress on uh, the front of that tracker. And um, spoiler alert, tracker's outside and it looks awesome. So uh, check out the rest of that uh, progress on that front four link on the next video. See you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> like, subscribe, share. I'll do a lot of good stuff, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.